everyone, thank you so much for enrolling in this course. This course is going to dive deep into sports nutrition for the athlete. Back in the day, nutritional considerations for sport was not something on the forefront of people's minds. People often drank when thirsty, consumed only water, and their diets did not really fuel them for performance. Over the years, we as a society have become smarter about what we consume and when to give us that competitive edge and improve our sports performance. Sports nutrition is about applying the concepts of nutrition to improve training, performance, and recovery. This course is going to provide fitness professionals and athletes the knowledge of proper nutrition and how it influences body composition, sports performance, and general overall health. Sports nutrition history first dates back to the early 1920s, but it was not until the 1970s where exercise physiology labs started to merge in the United States to evaluate and study athletes. The initial research, though, was focused on carbohydrates, especially endurance athletes. During the next decade, in the 1980s, the field of sports nutrition started to emerge. Scientists and researchers were beginning to see the real benefits of sports nutrition and performance. They had already discovered that endurance athletes benefited from consuming approximately 8 grams of carbohydrate per kilogram of body weight daily. Of course, this finding led to more questions and more research. Therefore, researchers began to label their athletes as strength athletes and endurance athletes. Strength athletes focus on protein intake, while endurance athletes focus on carbohydrate consumption. The field of sports nutrition leapt great bounds over these years, and by the 1990s, athletes were more carefully considering their macronutrient intake and its effect on their training and performance. All athletes began to pay attention to all macros, and no longer was the strength athlete only considering protein intake. Carbohydrates was just as important, and vice versa for the endurance athlete. They were not only just looking at their carbohydrate intake, but they were looking at their protein intake and fat intake as well. As time went on and training became more frequent and intense, it became clearer just how important nutrition is for optimal training, performance, and recovery. Now nutrition has become or should be one of the first considerations in sport and exercise. This course is going to dive into sports nutrition further and discuss topics such as how the body stores and uses energy, macronutrients, micronutrients, hydration, supplements, fueling for exercise, and competition, as well as how to create a nutritional plan. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next lesson.